hi guys welcome back in this video i'm gonna show you how can you make a python program which is just going to uh, change the volume of your speaker so without wasting our time let's get it started so uh, for this most of the people will say is that you just use python to click on the speaker icon and then drag the uh, this uh, this bar but this is not efficient you see why because most of the times uh, this uh, speaker is going to be in the hidden hidden icons and we don't know in the hidden icons where is it okay now it could be or uh, if it is in even in the taskbar with the battery could be uh, instead uh, of this speaker being here the battery icon could be here so we don't want this error so in python there is a module called py auto jy okay let's import that a auto gui so at this point we have imported this module but i'm going to run uh, my terminal and check if i get some errors okay so i don't get errors why because py auto gui is already installed on my system now suppose that you have uh, you don't have py auto gui on your system what you do is that you use this pip command which is going to install the this module pip install py auto gui py a u t o auto gui okay now hit enter this is going to install your py auto gui module for you now here it says that uh, this is already uh, installed in my system meaning our requirement is already satisfied okay so i'm just not going to install uh, it will not install pyot gy again for me next what i would do is that pyot gy has a method called press okay i'm gonna call use that press method uh, pre uh, press function dot press Okay, now so what are we going to type in this press? Uh, you just make a call, enter a column, and there are a bunch of pa parameters you need to pass. But in our case, what we would type is that volume up. Let me check my volume so that okay. So my volume, I'm going to set it to 50 so that you see. Okay, note the volume. Okay, it is. 50 so what this is going to do is that this should this uh, this python uh, program should change it its value to 52 okay now let's see what happens okay okay it will take some time so here you can see the volume of the speaker just went to 52 uh, if you want the cl clarification you can open this speaker using the speaker icon and it, is, it shows me that it is 52 now suppose that there is a scenario in which you want to uh, get this volume to 100 and you uh, your current volume is 50 for uh, most of the people uh, many people will say you just copy paste this command several times okay this is not even going to let me go to 100 okay let's see what happens okay just let me go 68 that is not good okay so what we would do is that the, uh, uh, so there is an another parameter which is called presses meaning if you you, you will pa uh, pass the value how much times you want to press this button like if you click on uh, if you just leave it uh, what will happen is that this button is going to be clicked only one time now if i pass in like about 20 it should let me go i think it will okay let me set it to 50 i think it will go, okay let me change it to 30 okay now 30 will let me go uh, let the volume go to 100 okay let's see what happens here i'm going to do nothing okay you see just the volume just went to 100 okay you see, can see here and in this speaker button okay also now suppose that there is a scenario in which you want to just uh, make the volume go down so you might have guessed it right what you do is that instead of using this volume up we are just going to use volume down 
okay now run this and let's see what happens in the speaker in the speaker's uh, rate so the value of it just went to 40 so this means that uh, you can just use python which is go a python program you can write a python program which is going to access this uh, it is going to uh, set the volume of your the speaker so this was very easy and a very uh, amazing python program so if you like the video just hit the like button and subscribe to this channel so that you can view more content like this now uh, there is another channel of my friend which is coding circle he kind of helps me a lot so i'm gonna uh, uh, send his link of the channel so thank you for watching meet you in the next video bye bye make sure you subscribe to coding circle also